Hello everybody, this is Toy Zaros and welcome to another edition of Transformer Facts Friday. This is another weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Okay, first things first, obviously guys, I pre-recorded this the day beforehand, uh, because obviously, luckily enough, I am at the MCM Comic Con in London this weekend. So hopefully by now I've already uploaded a few things for you, but that will explain why I'm here, but there at the same time. So loads of things to go through with you today. The reason I pre-recorded this is because there's so much going on in the world of Transformers. I didn't want to get home and be so far behind and I'm fully expecting to be able to bring you in fact that's a bit of a fib I know I'm going to be able to bring you some new reveals and of course lots of content on the figures that we have whilst I'm there but again you'll get to see all of that in normal videos this is just to catch up on the things that have happened in the week previously so MDLX by 3-0 Fantastic figures, by the way. I've just got the side swipe figure to be able to do the full review on that for you. Their seeker mold is just as good. And as always, the same as all companies, they are going to utilize it to the fullest. So what we've got here now, this is Sunstorm. So for those of you who don't know, 3-0 is a company licensed by Hasbro and Takara to make figures, action figures in this case, uh, that resemble our favorite characters. Now, they don't transform. This is 20 centimeters tall and approximately 50 points of articulation with a die-cast metal frame. And they are sensational. I've reviewed Starscream on here. As I say, this is Sunstorm. We saw Acid Storm earlier in the week. If you want to see this without the glare, head to TFW 2005 or indeed 3-0's website. So there is the figure with his accessories. Um, and again, guys, this is a huge action figure. It doesn't transform. It's not a statue. It's not a model kit. Yes, you can inter interchange the hands and a few of the accessories, but it comes in a box all neatly, exactly like this. As I say, I'll be getting hopefully the side swipe video done, uh, maybe even for later on. Who knows if I get a chance to do it when I get in. But this guy, look at it. It's incredible. The detail's fantastic. You can pose it in a multitude, multiple about of ways. Um, and again, these have really turned my head, same as lots of the other companies making non-transformable figures. But there you go. That is all the details on Sunstorm. Okay, Symbiote Studios, they've been doing special edition Dinobots. So what we've got here now, Grimlock version 3 and Sludge due next week, 28th of this month. Um, and there's also says here there's a Bumblebee plush reissue and Halloween costume wardrobe kit. So check out Symbiote Studios. Again, they're officially licensed by Hasbro and Takara as well. You've probably seen a few of these. There are Frenzy and Rumble. I'm so pleased they're both there because then there's no arguments. Um, and then there is Bumblebee. And indeed, here is the new Sludge Dinobot. And as I say, they've already released the others, well, two of the others as well. Right, moving on to Fans Hobby. They are going to be reissuing all of these figures, which is great. Um, I'm going to be reviewing them for you thanks to a very kind subscriber. I've got uh, Cab Minerva and Go Shooter sitting at home ready to go. In fact, all four of them ready to go as well so as i say they're going to be reissuing them on their website and indeed from show z which i'm going to show you in a second but what i also want to segue into is this additional figure here so this is of course their take on metal hawk there's some more images of this figure um on their website on their facebook page rather i just literally typed in fans hobby facebook and i've screen grabbed these images for you Great news for people who've missed out on him. Exactly as it says here, I've took this from T-Formers. Don't play scalper prices. As, the, as Evan said in the interview I did with him, you know, there is going to be an abundance of these. Now, I know that some people can't perhaps wait, but Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store, and indeed, as I say, Hasbro Pulse are going to be restocking them. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Don't, don't pay the scalper prices. Just wait, guys. They are all coming out. Just, um, I suppose, just bide your time. Right, I am going to mention this because obviously I am here and maybe I've picked up a few new subscribers because of this and basically just to give you some information what it is saying there. So in a quick summary, I don't need to look at that because I know it. On the Saturday is the day of the reveals. This is for all the four major brands. So we've got Star Wars at 11.30. We've then got Marvel at 1 p.m. We've got Transformers, which is myself, with Evan Brooks at 2 p.m. There's also going to be, I can tell you now, I'm going to put something live at 20 past 2 um, on this channel as well. So keep your eyes peeled for that. It is going to be something brand new. It is a reveal. Um, and yes, it's going to go live on this channel probably first, to be fair, guys. Um, and then G.I. Joe is going afterwards as well, as well as well be being there. Um, as it says here, and as I think I've told you in other videos, I'm going to be doing interviews, just getting as much footage as I can from there. I've got some figures with me so I can show you old mo old molds, new molds, all that sort of stuff. So hopefully doing my job um, and doing you guys some justice for the Transformers community. So, of course, 
feel free to hammer the comments. I'll keep checking, I'll keep checking them and I'll be able to hopefully get most of them replied to and indeed actioned upon whilst I am there. For example, this guy, a couple more images of him have shown up. So I've got my fingers crossed I'm taking down with me the, the first use of the mold and the most recent to do some comparisons with him as well. So yeah, can't wait to see that. Talking of conventions, here's some more images again, funnily enough, of fans hobby of their convention exclusive, which is of course a redeco. As you can see here, guys, I've done this deliberately again, just to show you that if you type in fans hobby Facebook, you don't need to be a member. You can just go and you can just have a look at the images or you can do what I've done and it's just, you know, screen grab it. That's, it's not so good with the black background. I do appreciate, apologize for that. Uh, but I would definitely suggest you checking them out. Um, and if you're after this particular figure, you're gonna have to specially pre-order it or indeed you're gonna have to be at the particular convention in question. Right, they're not doing this figure any justice whatsoever. Let's get the black backgrounds just to show you, I suppose, how much better, sorry, the white backgrounds, which was the ones at the beginning. And as, you know, fans hobby the same as pretty much lots of companies, that's what they're doing. They're redecoing their figures to bring us something as spectacular as that. So again, apart from all the other websites that I use, third party and indeed has Takara use this website to sell their figures as well. This is Show Z guys. Check this Show Z out. There is the new Swindle from Magic Square. There's the new Age Megatrons. We've got um, as you can see here, we've got loads of different companies. There's the new Blockies uh, Megatron, which I'm really looking forward to. We've also got, funny enough, there's the fans hobby ones I just mentioned. There is YOLO Parks, Optimus Prime from Age of Extinction. There's the mini Doctor Wu figures. There's the DNA upgrade kits. There is the YOLO Park Starscream. As I've said, there's so much on here. There's Missing Link, Masterpiece, Blockies, everything apart from Mainline, Studio Series, and Generations. Appreciate that's quite primitive, but it just gets the news across and diverts you to the websites where you want to see the images for yourselves. As I said, guys, I'm at MCN. Hopefully I've got loads more things coming up for you. Um, I've queued up the comics and everything else ready, and I've got one more video, which I'm going to do a bit later as well, for Saturday's news as well. But thank you very much for watching. Take care.